Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today the first section in the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This section is entitled Beings of the Realms Visible and Invisible. As many of you know from reading of the Bible or of your own sacred texts, there are many different sorts of intelligent beings on earth. In the realms invisible, as described in the Bible, we have angels, we have God, we have Christ, and we have beings of malignant tendencies, such as devils, and demons, and Satan himself. I've made a composite image for you to describe graphically how I see this um, assembly of beings visible and inv invisible on Earth. The image is entitled Invisible Mobsters, adapted and compiled by Alice B. Claggett. And the, there are credits that go with the image because it's, it's com a compilation. I'll put those at the end of the video. It, the image looks like this. Now, I hope you can see it okay. At the it's, there's, a, there's a man, the silhouette of a man, standing in a landscape, a natural landscape, with the beautiful night sky overhead, the starry skies overhead. Near the man, standing watchfully present, is an angel. Now in the Christian tradition, angels are shown in human form with wings. But that's a stylization. That's a normal stylization of the image of angels, whom I see more as energies. Beneficent energies that bless humankind and bless the earth. I see angels more like the aurora borealis, the northern lights. But I thought, this is a good traditional picture of an angel. It shows really an angel more like a person, so one ought not be afraid of it, you see. And, it, and it's pointing upward, it's pointing to the invisible realm so that the man, the human being, the physical man, will be able to understand that there's more to life than what we can see with our physical eyes. Now, up above, I put an image, a graffiti image, of, of mobsters, pretty scary mobsters, and one that looks like death himself, like the Lord of Death, and others that look like, like mean guys that aren't out to do us any good. And I made them somewhat invisible up in the night sky, hiding up there and looking pretty scary. And to tell the truth, that's my idea of life on Earth, that we need to choose amongst the invisible beings who we will have for our life companions, whether we will have the beautiful, beneficent angels or whether we will pick the malignant, invisible mobsters, you see. That's where I'm coming from. Well, that's all in the first section. Um, God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.